You know what time it is. It's time to slay this player for our Our history, silent. I Iron Vlad? Oh, it's the whale. Random common card. Oh, random common relic. Random common card. That would be good. Tina Curse for a... Oh, she's a rare card. If that were a random rare relic, I'd go for it. I think, I think it's just gonna be common relic. Likely going to get at least one more fight along this board. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's see what we get for a relic. Come in handy later. That was not a lot of my damage. Carter was pretty bad. I it's possible I should have struck. Him. Didn't hit me for twenty. Goliath is gonna knock him down. Sick. gonna be at night. Fuck. Ah, potion belt. Potion belt. He still has melting. I think I took 14 damage from Cultist Floor 1. We'll take a dagger spray. The slime. Holy fuck. Really, really, really bad hands. Really bad luck with uh, these card draws. Right about now. Um, I guess I'll just kill you now to prevent four damage. You know, maybe I will just take the heal. I would like to try to fight three elites if I could. And then we're gonna lose some health to remove the card anyway. It's still worth it. Because I basically paid, what, like half that gold? I basically play, paid like 17 gold for card removed right there. I will absolutely take a mango here. Alright, our deck isn't great. Can this deck be laggable right now? No. I think the answer is no. I think that means I have to upgrade Flying Knee. Problem with upgrading Dagger Spray is it gets hit with the minus two strength on both of its hits. So, like, upgraded Dagger Spray. Hey, Ahsoka, how's it going? Oh, I guess you asked me how's it going. Um, still kind of sleepy and groggy because it's like every time I get an opportunity to catch up on sleep, it's just fucking ruined by something. Um, I thought it was tomorrow, but today was the day there was a fire inspection. In the building, so got like five hours of sleep and then got woken up for that. <sighs> but other than that, I'm doing all right. How about you? But um, as I was saying, like if we upgrade this, it goes from twelve damage to eight damage to four damage to zero damage. So we lose four damage every time. This goes from eleven to nine. This, you know, eleven to nine to seven to five to three. I mean, we, there's no way we survive that many. But like after the first. 
After the first Siphon Soul, Flying Knee is out damaging Dagger Spring, and because their damage is so low, uh, this fight have, might have to go on long enough that we're going past the second Siphon Soul, which means that the extra damage is quite a bit larger. We'd be doing 7 damage instead of 4. What are you having for breakfast? Uh, upgrade the flying. It's like... I guess Dagger Spray, the, the other consideration is, uh, you know, the slime boss, and also these three. But it's like, if I... I'm pretty sure if I upgraded Dagger Spray, I fought Light of the Wind. I'm fairly certain I would die. So... It's not really an option. I mean, I could have played the odds. I could have taken the Dagger Spray. It's like a Dagger Spray upgrade, like... Neutralize would be the best upgrade against Gremlin Knob, Flying Knee against Light of Ruin, and Dagger Spray against Sentry. Dagger Spray is also the best against the boss. But, like, Dagger Spray is sort of the best middle, middle ground. I still could have gone for Dagger Spray, I suppose. Hot Cocoa that's not. Mm, that is not the, a breakfast I would recommend. But you do you. Re block. Oh wait, I can just kill this. Guy. Yeah, let's do that. That's a much better plan than blocking for thirteen and taking seven. I could block for three and take seven. And kill the man. More energy than I could possibly use. No well laid plans. Dagger spray. I mean, dagger spray still definitely doing some work. Yep. We're, we're in this part of the fight where it's like, you're like, alright, cool. Probably not gonna take any more damage for the rest of the fight. And then you end up taking 15 more damage. Course of the fight. Mmm. Like, I would call that dessert. I would call that dessert. Hot cocoa cookies and orange juice. Like, all the, the carbs and sugar right instead of the thing. It's just like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's setting you up to crash real hard. Uh, dash, 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 dash. This is our third holy fight. Yeah, we fought the slimes earlier, so this is our last easy fight. Hopefully, I can get something. Oh, I could have just killed him. Something juicy. And now I'm gonna take like nine more damage or something. Um, I don't think I want to. I think the dash tips me over, and now I've, like, definitely got enough damage. Okay. Uh, don't have any poison yet, but... Hey, Eater of Unhappiness, how's it going? Oh, fuck, I had a fourth energy. Wow, I am playing so badly. So I could have two more health right now, and I could have done six more damage. Uh, six damage. Didn't look like it ended up mattering here. Hey, Liv, hi, how's it going? There's our first fucking potion. I got a potion belt at floor zero. Our first potion was on floor ten. These are not great cards. Big I also just woke up, but only because I was having an extreme nap. The uh, third one, I have not been able to like lay down and get any actual sleep today. 
I've had like short hour and a half stupid naps that suck. So he splits 35, so I can split him up. Or I can try 48 bet. I think is what I'm going to do. Shame that I don't have the dagger spray. But well, luckily they're not hitting me, so. Maybe I should have hit this one in case of dagger spray. I think I can wait. Skewer dodge. I feel like I should probably put a block card in the deck. Dodge roll's not super great without. Dexterity. I have 33 health, although like going this way doesn't really help that much. So hey, it's from so I try to hope for a turn where I have like dagger spray flying these strike and neutralize. And steroid pot on that turn. That's 25 damage out of the steroid pot, which right now we're sitting on. Well, I mean, I've already done it, so I guess I made my decision. <sighs> Apparently there is. Hold on, give me one sec here. It's only started recently. I don't know why. Give me one sec here. Testing? Hello? Okay. I didn't mess with any settings, but it's... I don't know what's wrong. I've had to turn a bunch of volumes way up from where they used to be, and it's, like, still quiet? How about now? No, it's still... It's, like, it's not letting me go above a certain point. Hold up. Test, test. Playing games with a bunch of friends, nice. Like, how do I sound now? Am I... Hey, Aka, how's it going? Oh. How is your singing? Um, uh, alright, Neutralize is unupgraded. Probably just pop this now and still get 15 damage out of it. Nice. Robotic. I need to. I need to listen. I need to go back to this. To some of my streams, then, and then change my audio stuff. I don't know why I'd be sounding robotic, unless there's just like a loose cable or something. Thank you very much, Aka. Um, it's not vulnerable. It's still got 27 health. It's the most damage I can. 1928. And that requires that I have dagger spray, otherwise it's 26, so I literally can't kill him. Is it 16? It goes up to 19. Which means his damage goes up to 28. 
if I play Survivor here and I don't kill him by next turn, I break even. And if I somehow don't manage to kill him the turn after that, I actually take more damage. So I'm just going to not play it. That's weird. Okay, so I already have Lethal next turn, so I should just block this. Uh, I think Dodge and Roll actually... Or he's weak in the Okay. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Looks at my health bar. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about audio stuff and reading the chat and stuff, and I looked and I was like, Oh, I'm just, I'm just dead. I'm just fucked. Hmm. Hold up. Uh, bear with me one second. I'm gonna listen to my own stream real quick, so you're gonna hear some noise. Testing, testing. Oh, I see what you mean. It's not robot. No, something about, um... Which is it? got all these fucking effects on and I don't know which one it is one of these is like hardcore dampening the shit out of my voice I'm not hearing a metallic echo I'm hearing something that's like artificially it's like dampening um hmm Test, test, test. I could just, like, turn all this shit off. Hold up. How do I sound now? Oh, holy fuck, that sounds way better. Alright. Okay. Enough me listening to my own stream. Alright, I'll f fix that shit later. I had all these effects on, and it was apparently... It was... Because I had it like that for a while, and it was fine, and then... I don't know why, one day, like, four or five days ago, it became not fine. Or maybe more like two, three days ago, and I don't know why. So I just, like, turned all that shit off. Oh, let's see... Smells like either max HP or random boss relic. Okay, we've got some options. Okay, I like this left path. Floor one snack away. Floor zero snack away. All right, that's um, that's gonna make things interesting. Ugh. That's every defend in my deck. Whatever. I draw seven cards. I'm gonna draw right back into them. These are not great hands. These are quite the opposite of great hands. Oh, are you fucking shitting me? Oh man, we might not be fighting three elites. Okay, alright. Can I f pull lethal out of something? Out of anything? Out of anywhere? Nope. No, I cannot. I have to try again next turn. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Fuck! 
Take the glacier. <laughs> well, we're not upgrading. Uh, we're not upgrading ball light or uh, zap. That's for sure. You're both attacking me. That's uh, that's pretty rude of you. The stool cast costs three. That's also pretty rude. Man, there was a time long ago when I could block for fifteen with three energy, but not these days. Hey, so. Uh, didn't get a discount on that glacier. <laughs> Those ads. Uh, you're not hitting me, so I'm going to hit you. That's just how this works. Hmm. Claw seems particularly bad. I'll take a compile driver, I guess. You know what? Cards are so bad in my deck right now. <laughs> it's like most of my deck is so fucking terrible with Sneko Eye. Then I think I probably just have to start removing strikes. Over the healing. I already filled up on potions, though. That was quick. Um, already full blocking here. Uh, hmm, no. I already have, like, one block card. I should take the ball lightning. Remove, transform, upgrade. I think... Remove, again. I am missing a lot of health. Then again, my upgrades are not incredible. It's like glacier or ball lightning. I think I could do fine without either. What's up, Gremo? Probably leave that lightning orb. Since I don't have an extra free one. Strikes. Ball lightning. Yeah. I like it. Fuck. It's even harder to determine if I can kill him next turn or not. Because I it's like, yeah, if I draw every attack in my hand and they all cause zero, then I can probably kill him. That seems unlikely, so I'm not going to play the defend here. Oh, but now you can fucking hear the fan noise. I'm going to have to rework... I'm gonna have to rework it. <sighs> He's not big attacking next turn. <laughs> okay. It's gonna take. That eh, brings it up by five. So I should just stop there. That's good, but still, I, I was trying to get rid of it. Because, um, you know, I had it all set up where it was like perfect before my computer upgrades. Then I had to re download the software, etc., etc., etc. Try to rework all the settings and everything. Well, that's, that's a meteor strike. There's just a. Uh, there's just not really a question about that one. Hmm. Grabbing a doubt means not removing another strike. 
think it's probably worth the gold. Hmm. Get to save a little money on that uh, card removal. Indeed. So, Centennial Puzzle seems very good. I'm two gold short of Centennial Puzzle and Cool Headed. Hmm. I think that's probably fine. Between Sneko Eye and Centennial Puzzle, that's probably enough card draw. What is our boss, even? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we nap again. Although, eh, it's like a six damage upgrade. It's actually reasonably large, but. Hello. I mean. Yeah? I got a Vajra now. Oh, baby. I think I, I, think I still play the Meteor Strike, right? What else do I get? It's like 8, that's 15, plus 6, what's that, it's 21, mm -hmm. it's only 4 less damage, and then immediately after that the lightning orbs make up for it, but I don't get to control where the lightning orbs go, and the plasma orbs will probably definitely make up for it. Also I am absolutely drinking this now. Draw 10 cards, I like it. Holy fuck. So I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have some energy. Okay, no, tool cast first. Then Glacier. Then Compile Driver. And then Pouch. I have, like, far more energy than I could ever possibly use here. I should probably just keep this one. Instead of, uh, turning it into... Zap power. Did I just block for 26 on accident? That's interesting. Hey, look what I found. Hey, Ma, look what I can do. Splarp. And I've got four energy. Easy peasy. And I've got five energy. And I'm already full blocking? Man, I want- I need an ice cream. I need an ice cream in this. In this right now. But, uh, I don't think there's any reason to get rid of the Plasma Orb here. Yeah, the Meteor was a pretty strong pickup. Act 1 Meteor. Uh, I'll just full block it. Oh yeah, Ice Cream's really good. Ice Cream's very good. Hello, goodbye. I don't think I want any of these. He doesn't scale, so I'm just going to full block here. I mean, yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. I could just kill him. Yeah, like that. Got a regen potion again. I mean... Rebound Meteor Strike is funny. I got, like, no guarantee of being able to ever actually do that, though. Yeah, if we, if we pull an Ice Cream, then... I think I have a very good chance of winning the run. Just, like, straight up. Alright, this man does make us vulnerable and stops us from attacking. Which is... Not very cool of him. On the plus side, he's dead, so... Ice Cream's really good. Charge Battery? Um, we don't actually have an Ice Cream. <laughs> but, I think... I think Charge Battery is worth a pickup here. Definitely don't need to nap, so now I can upgrade. So it's either, like, Upgrade Glacier... Or upgrade Meteor Strike. 
I think it's Meteor Strike. I th like, Meteor Strike is just a card that I just, like, play every time I draw it, right? That, that seems like a thing that I do with Meteor Strike. Sure. Get some Frost Orbs going, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna need to use either of these potions. Meteor Strike? Oh, zero energy Meteor Strike. Get dunked. Get dunked. And then I'm gonna charge battery for next turn. I've got like seven energy. Yeah. I think I'll be fine. I think I can do whatever I like now. Oh, there's Glacier again. Uh, I should like block this or something? Sounds fake, but alright. I think I'll stick it with it like that, because again, I want to keep this. Huh. Hey. Ho -ho. Okay. Uh, that's enough noises for this exact moment. Sixteen. Uh, I'd have to draw into some block. I'll just, I'll just hang. He's already at like 150 health. Uh, well, Glacier does give me a lot of energy, doesn't it? Dual cast first. And like zap. Maybe I don't want a Glacier. Maybe I just want a regular block. Yeah. That seems alright. Who needs energy relics when you've got- Oh, dunk them! Probably should've- Compile driver first? Maybe not. Oh, he flipped. Boring. I barely even get going and he's already in flip mode. I'm like, well, there's no point in continuing. I gotta chug through another 20 block first. Lame. Cool. Um, shit. Casting Meteor Strike doesn't actually get me any energy here. Which means I can't Meteor Strike dual cast here. Back with Queso? Nice. So I'm just gonna do this. Full block. A lot. Blast his buns? Cool. That pays for itself. Already full blocking. Let's punch him. Just punch him. Goodbye. Well, that worked out pretty well. So, problem with fission is it's not gonna cause zero. There's a second meteor- like, like... E absolutely, I just take the other meteor strike. Like, that's not even a question. And then I take Pandora's box? Yeah? Double Meteor Pandora's box? Because, uh, no, on these other- yeah, I'm just gonna click the box. Ooh. 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 A couple of these are kind of rough. Beam Cell and Seek is just like, mmm. Double Energy is like, eh. Man, if I had an ice cream. If I had an ice cream, oh boy. Because, like, with the Meteor Strike, like, rolling around, by the time I draw, like, a double energy- Like, I'm gonna draw it. And it's going to cost 3. And I'm going to have 19 energy and not care that it costs 3. <laughs> That's if I get an ice cream. Bullseye is also just like, well, it's it's better than strike. Horse Surge is better than strike. Beam Cell seems like a downgrade. Seek? I Honestly, with all the Plasma Orbs, I can probably handle a 3 cost Seek fairly regularly. Because I just like grab the other Meteor Strike, slap it down. Transform means they become a random card. They can't become uh, basic cards. I mean... Alright, I have a double energy, so I should probably try to figure out how to draw a bunch of cards and have a really, really big turn. That seems like something that might be important. Who am I afraid of here? I don't think it's Book of Stabbing. 
I mean, he definitely hits me a lot, but yeah, I need a way to draw cards. I have Compile Driver and nothing else. <laughs> Four Bonfires, one Elite. Well, I'm not definitely not going to die there. Might die here, though. We have no scaling at all. So Focus would be really nice, because then I could really rely on those uh, Frost Orbs. Hey there, Heimerdinger. How's it going? Oof. Oh, that that is not... That is, like, too rough. I think that means I'm going... Oh, my fuck. That's four hallway fights in a row. <sighs> it's a two leaks. It's a four more hallway fights. Jesus Christ. These paths are terrible. I mean, the only one... The only one that isn't just, like... You know, hold on to your butts is this one. And, yeah, I don't think... Fuck, even even when I... Uh, I need to self-repair bad. I'm almost in Chaos Dunk levels. I guess Meteor Strike is pretty good at, like, killing a lot of enemies, even in Act 2. Alright. We're here now. Uh, well, hello. What the fuck do I even seek for? Like, double energy for the laughs? Oh! I should have seeked for, uh, Beam Cell. That would have been smart. He would have been, uh, like, pretty fucking dead. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been smart. like cast double energy to get it out of my deck that seems like a play hello goodbye all right well chosen went down like a sack of bricks sweeping beam is upgraded i do have to worry about gremlin leader and it's a little bit of card draw i'm gonna take one sweeping beam you know maybe tempest wouldn't have been terrible considering i have some turns where i've just got like nine energy Only one meter strike. Uh, doesn't matter because I get to like push two orbs with the glacier. I'm taking a bunch of damage and I can't really stop it. I guess I kind of can stop it, can't I? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, Heimerdinger. Germany class? Okay, so that basically gets me all the block I want. Is there a point in seeking for Compile Driver? I mean, couldn't hurt, right? I'll just like end the fight now, is all. That's the second Tempest I've been offered. I'm going to pick it. I'm just gonna pick it. We had a Chemical X we could have bought earlier, and I didn't really think about it. I didn't think I'd get double Meteor. I <sighs> can't really seek for a Meteor, because it'll still cost three. I can... Wait. I was going to say I can seek for coursers so I don't get confused. <laughs> then I'm like, wait a minute. Already confused. Don't care. Sure. Seek for beam cell to get it out of my deck. Cool. Hiya. Gotcha, bitch. Down with the power puffs? I don't know what that means. Oh, Powerpuff Girl. Gotcha. Gotcha. Q. 
Okay, I didn't play the core surge, which means he can still make me vulnerable. Or can he? There's no way for me to beam cell meteor strike, meteor strike. Nope. If I dual cast, I go down, go up to four. No, that doesn't work either. All right, fine. Okay, so now if I Tempest here, I spend six energy and I still have six energy? Hmm. 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 What if I zap first? God, there's so many ways to play this. I'm already full blocking. So he'd take 24 damage. Plus 9. He'd take 33 straight up. And I'd still have 6 energy? Forty six. Yeah, I can just kill him. I can actually just kill him right now. Just like... See you later? Yeah, Tempest by itself doesn't kill, but... The other things around Tempest. A second compile driver? I need, like like, a runic capacitor. I need just a, a little more orb slots. It, it does make it harder to push orbs, the plasma orbs, but it's like, if I just have them sitting there, they're also kind of doing their job. Um, just to make a compile driver a little bit better, because I've got every orb type but dark right now. I think I'd take another compile driver, because I'm, like, that desperate for card draw? Maybe. Um, I'm really glad no one's hitting me right now. I'm going to play Zap. Cool. You have one job. God damn it. It's like so hard. Uh, unless I get at least like one Plasma Orb out already. It's like I can't actually use these Meteors at all. Like I said, Ice Cream would be... Very good. I guess I'll play Glacier and actually take a little bit of damage. And become frail. Hmm. I'm less interested in that. This beam cell is free, so I'm gonna play it here. Nope. It's a long one. Alright, so you're dead. Guess I'll just like core surge here. Just in case she does some funky monkey. Okay. Seems reasonable. Meteor stretch still cost two. That's kind of the opposite of more orb slots. <laughs> Um, hmm. I think I still take it though. So now I now I double want more orb slots, like for more reasons than before. I'm going to grab Corsair. It's in my fucking hand. Turns out I'm an idiot. Turns out this whole time, secretly an idiot. Then I guess I'll grab a Cinder's Bane, because fuck me. Right? Fuck me. Whoops. I'm going to double that energy real quick. Hope you don't mind. Interesting. Okay. He still has 33 health, which is a little frightening. Yep. Yep. Definitely frightened. Fuck. If I use the explosive potion, what do I get? 
that gets me one short of lethal, and then I sweeping beam and he dies. I guess I should sweeping beam first then, huh? Interesting. If I play the zap, and it hits him. Then I dual cast, he takes 16, 19, 22. Yeah, I think Explosive Pot is worth uh, 24 health, by my estimations. What about Sunder? That's to kill an enemy, and 24 damage is not... It's like, it's competing with two Meteor Strikes. I don't think I'd take it. Alright, so the real question is, what on earth do I upgrade? Consume? I don't think I want to upgrade the other Meteor Strike. I think it's Consume. I really, 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 really need some fucking scaling in this deck. Oh boy, does this deck need some scaling. And it sure doesn't have it. Okay, this is probably like the worst one, if I had to guess. Interesting. So if I consume once, a single Meteor Strike gives me two energy back. <laughs> it's possible. I am taking a lot of damage right now, though. Yeah. I'm also looking at my entire deck, so that's also a plus. I'm just gonna play this one now. Died to the lightning. And then I'm gonna play this one. 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 This one. And this one. Oh my god. Oh! I got- I just got an achievement! I got the achievement for channeling 9 Plasma in, uh, one turn. Uh, what's up is I'm- is I'm slapping dudes. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, I did take like 20-something damage that turn. That's like the first damage I've taken all act. But I, I- I took it. I might actually go this way. Depends. Depends on what this elite is. Cause if we get like plus strength book of stabbing, I might shit my pants and die. In that order. So I got four energy from playing this. Ten of these... Yeah, I've got three focus. I think this just probably wins. Yeah, absolutely just wins it. A whetstone. What about recycle? Ooh. That has some tantalizing possibilities. Still need card draw. Still really need card draw. I've got all these ways to do, like, bajanky things with energy. And, like, nothing really great to do with all of that energy. I've got a single Tempest. I've got a Consume. Huh. Ooh. Ooh, you hurt me, game. You hurt me. I'm gonna take the key. Alright, let's see what this is. Fuck. Alright. So I dunk, then I dunk again. See, I could recycle this Tempest for just a piss load of energy, but I have nothing to do with it. Nah. Now what, bitch? Now I just take a bunch of damage. Um...
Okie dokie, that was a pretty good turn. <laughs> um, I'm pretty close to just killing this man, so I think that's what I'm gonna go for. In fact, I got it. Like, he's dead. He's got one health, and there was like. <laughs> I looked at his health and looked at the zero cost compile driver. And like it didn't even matter what else I was drawing. I was like, yeah, no, he's just he's just gone. He's toast. Ah, fuck me. That's not a great one. Two tempests. I can recycle tempest into tempest, and then just like, <sighs> like, is that the plan? Is the pl ah, fuck? God damn it. All right, I've got four potions. Um. A single Tempest upgrade, though? Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do, what I'm going to have to do is consume twice, and then Meteor Strike twice, and then recycle, and then, like, double energy, recycle a Tempest, and then Tempest for just an unbelievable shitload of damage. That's pretty much how I'm gonna have to kill the champ with the deck as is. So, like, how much energy would that be? Let's assume I'm already down to, like, one, uh... One orb slot, so I have like four energy at the start. It's really hard to determine how much energy I have because it depends on how much energy all this other stuff costs. Because then it's like. Shoop, shoop, shoop. I gained six. I gained 12. I double it. I double it again. So let's say it costs three, I go down to one, I gain six, I'm at seven. Cost three, I go down to four, I gain six, it goes up to ten. Cost three to double it, go down to seven, go up to fourteen. Cost three again, go down to eleven, go up to twenty-two. I have six focus, and I channel twenty-two lightning orbs. Let's assume that maybe there's a bullseye. Hmm. I might have to put, like, bullseye on him as well. God. Oh, this is gonna be... Does that mean I have to upgrade, like, Bullseye and Beam Cell to make this happen? Okay. Um, alright, so with 6 focus, I'm doing 14 damage on 21 of those. 14 times 21, uh, what is that? That's like 140, that's 280, that's 300 and... no. Four, yeah, 280... 294. That's pretty good. That'll kill him from flip. So upgrading Tempest gets me... I'd have to upgrade them both. No, I wouldn't. I'd just have to get rid of the unupgraded one. Upgrading Tempest only gets me like 14 extra damage. Whereas upgrading Bullseye potentially gets me like huge loads of damage. I'm gonna upgrade the bullseye. I th that might be the first time I've ever done that. That might be the first time I've ever upgraded a bullseye, but I mean, I gotta do something. Mm, do I really want to do that one? I've got no card draw. Let's do the zap. And then double that. Hmm, interesting. Shazam? Alright, take a little bit. Nope. Take a little bit more damage. Uh, upgrading Tempest just gives me, like, one more Tempest, which is not great. Or gives me one more Lightning Orb, I mean. Whereas this means I don't have to have, like, five different cards all in my hand on the same turn. I can have one card in my hand to turn early. Because bumping those lightning orbs... Like, getting 14 more damage is not nearly as good as getting seven more damage 21 times. <laughs> that's, a, that's a much bigger number. That's, a, that's, a, that's like ten more than ten times as much. Oh, God. It's like... I'm hot, but this fan is also like... I don't know, it's annoying. It's annoying on my face. 
Um, I could beam cell here. I would do a lot of damage. How much damage would I do? It's like 46. These would do 16. 46 plus 32 is like 70 something. Yeah, I think he dies. I think he dies. Oh yeah, he dies. Is it too late for genetic algorithm? It doesn't fit in with the deck. Cool-headed, I'm like getting to a point where I really need some more block stuff. And having something that rotates one orb, as opposed to the two from Glacier, is nice, because then if I've got like three plasma orbs, I can like ball lightning Glacier and then get three cards out of Compile Driver instead of just two. Okay, it's not plus strength Book of Stabbing, thankfully. I... Ooh, um... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, there are a couple ways I can play this. I'm debating on whether or not I use this regen potion here based on how fast I think this fight actually ends. Because there's a chance it could end very quickly. If I double energy now, I go up to six. No, that's dumb. I go down to two. Pop, pop. Consume first? Maybe not. Meteor Strike puts me to two energy. It gives me four more, puts me to six. Then double. I think I'm still gonna just drink it. Alright, still full blocking. It's like, yeah, with ice cream, it's like I've got like five energy left over on a lot of turns. With ice cream, like, if I got ice cream from this, then I think I'm fine against the champ. Because then, because then, oh boy, can I really, really dunk him. Like, the man would get so unbelievably dunked. He could not even perceive the dunkedness. So, I'm taking like 21 damage. Did I just pop that for 5 health? Because I think this might kill him? I'm going to have 2 energy afterwards, which I can use to leap. So I'll take like 4 damage. He's going to take... How much is he going to take? He's going to take like 7? Yeah, he's dead. He's just all the way dead. Well, rip. Fossilized Helix isn't bad. Double Ancient Pot's not bad. I don't think I can use any of these. A Thunderstrike I would take at this point. With the two Tempests, like, I would take a Thunderstrike. Mm. Sneko again. Disappointing. Probably could have seeked the uh, recycle and done something with that. I'm just gonna like grab beam cell, get it out of the deck. Okay, fossilized helix should help me out a little bit here, assuming that's even necessary, which it so far is not. Get a little, get like one extra damage out of my lightning orb. Did I draw that same recycle twice? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't draw it. I was thinking of seeking it out, right? Um... Farts. What if I... Nope, that doesn't work. He's doing a big boy hit, but I've got a buffer stack. So, I think I just... 
I cast Meteor Strike and Core Surge and then don't afraid of anything. Oh wait, no, 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 hold up. I can do that. And then I can do this. Cool. And then he's... And then he died. Uh... Hmm. Um... Hmm. Yeah... Especially with the core surge. I don't think I nap. Upgrade bias cog. Cool headed's also a decent upgrade. Doesn't do anything with the plasma orbs, unfortunately. Once again, still need orb slots. Well, fuck. Missing a couple pieces, but this is almost, <laughs> almost the hand. Unfortunately, still got like 440 health, so. Not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, I think I will simply Glacier here. Didn't get you to catch any dreams. Interesting. So now I want to play the Bias Cog the turn before I play a bajillion Lightning Orbs. Ideally, for just like even more mega mega damage. He is hitting me pretty hard, and I don't think I appreciate it. Fuck, maybe I should have upgraded the Seek, so I could have grabbed all the cards in time. Hold up, I have a better idea than what I was about to do. And that's to do... that. Now I've always got the focus. Uh, that's gonna be pretty big. I'd say. So much fucking energy and like nothing to do with it. Um, five. Hold up, I have eight focus right now. Jesus. So that's ten, five, twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, I'm. I can just like full block this. GG. All right, I might not t need to go like turbo crazy. Regular crazy might suffice. Hmm, that probably wasn't worth it. Fuck, double energy's not in my hand. Um, I, I looked at this hand and I was like, <gasps> and like, did I, did I assemble Exodia? Uh, this is still pretty, like, really good, the beam cell on top of these. I think I just, like, go ham this turn. I think this is the ham turn. Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Turns out, got him. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't have a dark orb. <laughs> Man, if I had an ice cream, imagine, imagine, like, 20, like, multicasting a fucking plasma orb for, like, 27 years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, thank you very much, Live High. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I didn't use up my buffer. I didn't take damage. So my my estimation that I didn't need to nap was uh, correct. That the bias cog. I mean, the bias cog got us like five extra damage on all of those lightning orbs. I mean, I was hitting for like 28 per. So I think and I didn't even get through them all. So I probably would have been fine without it, but it'll be handy for hallway fights where you know, 
Having my frost orbs blocked for 10 will be really handy. Um, yeah, this deck has like one power in it. <laughs> I think I just take Meteor Strike. Like. Fusion Hammer seems good. Uh, not Velvet Choker. <laughs> not Velvet Choker. Runic Pyramid. Normally you don't want a Runic Pyramid, Snack OI, but we're doing some goofy baloney. Uh, Runic Pyramid lets me set up some pretty obnoxious combos. Then again, Fusion Hammer, just having an extra energy per turn is also, like, really great. Makes me more able to do shenanigans. Who do I take the pyramid? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I've definitely had those hands where, like, turn one, I draw, like, seven cards, and I get, like, I get to play, like, Glacier. I get to play, like, Glacier and then seek for Beam Cell, and that's my whole turn. And then I've still got, like, four cards left in my hand that I didn't want to and or couldn't really afford to play. Which makes it take longer for me to draw into, you know, the good stuff. I think, I think Runic Pyramid slows me down more than it helps me out. So I'm going to take the hammer. All right, I'm going to go refill my water. I'll be right back. Oh, hey. Wow, I made it to Act 3 without, like, a deck full of powers. But Defect, for once, we're against Awakened One. I hope he likes getting dunk. Like I said, ice cream, ice cream would make this, like, go really nuts. Problem is, problem is, I don't know how to kill Heart. Uh, we can't just, like, blast him for 9,000 damage in one turn. It doesn't really work. So, I definitely still need a Heart killing strategy. Like, I could just, like, if I grab a creative AI, if I see a creative AI, I'm grabbing it. Um, I just, like, don't play it against Awakened One, and then, besides that, it basically solves the Heart. I mean, it might not. It might be too slow. Like, we might just keep bricking. But, you know, if we get, like, an Echo Form and, like, one Capacitor out of it, the rest of the deck will just do the job. Even without Echo Form, like, two Capacitors will do it. One Capacitor will buy me a lot of time. Um, alright, so I want events because I want... There are, what, two events in this act that can give me specifically a rare relic? And I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Which is, you know rare, so, um, I already fought Big Boy. Yeah, that was the other reason I, like, like Matryoshka was like, mmm, mmm. I guess, I guess you still get to take one of the relics with Matryoshka and get the key, but... So who am I afraid of? Meteor Strike does a really good job at killing knives. Reptomancer's knives. There's three of them in the deck. And also, like, playing a, a gigantic Tempest will kill a lot of knives. I think... I think I might be the most afraid of Nemesis because of his intangible. If, like, we don't get the right cards to, like, blast him on a turn where we can actually hit him, uh, we could be in a lot of trouble. I think we probably... I think this deck is fast enough to deal with, uh... Giant head. I also think this deck is fine against Transient. Like, it has... It's got 24 cards. And among those are 3 Meteor Strikes. It's a pretty... Like, you're gonna draw... You're gonna draw Meteor Strike, like, slightly less than average once per turn. And that card by itself just gets me a ton of damage, so... And then there's Writhing Mass... 
Uh, Writhing Mask could be a bit of a problem, just because I can't control how much energy my uh, my moves cost, and therefore how many I get to actually play. I like three elites, but I also like a whole bunch of events, and I definitely want to hit a shop. That's like three events versus what? It's like five total all the way up, and this is four. But I got one more elite. Um, there doesn't appear to be a shop though. Fuck. I think the shop might be the tipping factor. I think I think one shop is more important than a third elite. Oh, but there's no bonfires if I do that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might need a couple. Okay. All right. I've I've flipped back on my decision. Zero bonfires versus two is also like a pretty big deal. I am being hit, and I'm not very able to stop myself from being hit. This perturbs me. Huh. Well, fuck. I think I just, like, have to take nine here? Unless I get really lucky. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Please, 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 Zarin Jesus. Let the lightning hit the front man. Two times. Two times. Two times on the front man. It's like a one in nine chance. Well, farts. Alright, I guess I'll just take nine. I was about to say, I cannot cast both meteor strikes, and then I realized I was incorrect. Thanks to the power of consume. Um, I might not want to play both, however... Hold up, let's do this. Then this. And then this. And then this. And then this! Okay, cool. Should be good. I think I take the damage from his spikes before these rotate? I don't know if that's true. I can always just do that. I should just end it there, because they're both dead. Yeah. Another compile driver, another double energy. Yep. Hello, hello. Okay. So if I do this... And then this. Hmm. Gonna take some damage here. And then this. None of these stop me from taking damage. Um, hmm. That's unfortunate. May as well get an extra energy next turn. <clears throat> uh, I'm taking like big, like mid teen hits in damage, like, once each fight. I have both Meteor Strikes in my hand. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Cool. Giria is not the one I was looking for. Another compile driver. No. If I could, like, stop getting random jank commons. <clears throat> Alright, well, he's already dead, so that was quick. Interesting. Still don't have very good card draw on the deck. Um, grab me Bias Cog. And then save me an energy for next turn? Cool. Uh, there's still a Meteor Strike in the deck. Drew two of them. Mm hmm. Once again, a lot of energy, nothing I can do with it. I guess a spinning top would also not be terrible? That's also a rare relic. Yeah, there's no real reason to double energy here. Or to recycle. Alrighty. Wow, I generated 43 block without even looking. Okay. He can't hit me that hard. But I can hit him that hard, so cool, I won. I will take a second glacier. I am uh, running short on time to make this deck able to like beat the heart at all. Hmm. Wait. Unfuck. Haha! -ha! Gotcha, bitch! Um, actually, I'm probably gonna rotate those orbs, so I'm gonna do this. So that way he's still got the uh, debuff on him for next turn. Because I might have to use that for some of the damage. Okay. Do I just stop there? Maybe? I think maybe I do like one of these. One of those. One of these. Cool. Yeah, I definitely need something that lets me use all this. Just like loads of energy. And do this. What do I want to seek for? Shit, I've still got like four turns left. Yeah, oh. I don't have Bias Cog in my deck. Hmm. Probably means I want to consume here. Okay. I guess I'll stick with that. He's up at 70. That's a problem. Double energy right now? Yeah.
next turn doesn't look like it's going to be very good. Where are those Tempests? I played them both? I played them both. Sick. I'm going to keep the Lightning Orb out because it's going to do like 28 damage to them? Yeah. I've used both the double energies. Still a recycle. I think consume is not going to be the thing I want to do here. I still have a fossilized helix. So I'm not like absolutely done for. I could probably just dual cast this. Then I beam cell, hit him with that. Hmm, that's kind of bad. I probably didn't want to draw that right there. Alright, good news is I'm not taking damage. Because I've still got the buffer stack. Man, I forgot he went all the way to 90. Normally I get to like weaken him and throw a bunch of other baloney at him. Or I just die to him. Normally one of those two things happens. Yeah, give me that Meteor Strike. So much energy. Well, I think I got it regardless. Cool. Knock him down to four. I dealt like 500, 595 damage. 10 gold? Hologram seems really good here. Being able to fish Meteor Strikes out of my discard seems invaluable. Nope. No. Nuh uh. I think I've only gone to one shop this whole run. Okay. Oh, that's right. I gotta give up the treasure chest too. Um. Hmm. Not ideal. Not at all ideal. Fuck. I was like, I really need like. I guess there, there was no one card I could draw. I would have needed a zero cost meter strike and then also for dual cast to be zero. It's possible that this is where I drink the strength pot. I've got double ancient pot in case I... Oh, I guess I could have used it there for the bias cog. Hmm. Yeah, that might have been prudent. Fuck. Wait, no, unfuck. If I consume Meteor Strike, Glacier, six, Hologram, Bias Cog. I mean, I'll be playing the Bias Cog after I've already done all my Frost Orb stuff, so I don't know if it'll be worth it. I'll get 16. Holy shit. Um, let's see. I'll get 16 block. Plus another... Ten, twenty-six, thirty-three. I'll take way more damage than that. Um, that's yeah. That's oh no no no. I get more than thirty-three. I'll get forty-three. I get forty-six. I think. And I'll kill this idiot. I don't think this guy dies though. At all? I've got no way to draw cards. Uh, I should have just uh, should have just used the potion and played it last turn, or maybe just not even use the potion. I've also got this. Okay, so if I've got forty six, eighteen. Fuck. The buffer will get eaten up 
here. And I'll take 25 damage. Unless I pull something out of here. That seems like a reasonable thing. Hmm. Hmm. Double Ancient Potion, Hyper Beam, and Bias Cog. Or I just don't dig for the Bias Cog this turn. That seems like the the less the less idiot move. Yeah. I'm just gonna use one Ancient Potion, play Hyper Beam, cool, goodbye, see you later. Um, and then do like the rest of the stuff. I guess I still need to block, huh? Um... I think I just want a hologram for Meteor Strike again. Give me the upgraded one. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Alright, figured it out. I had to use two potions, but I figured it out. Okay, now I don't even need to use a potion, because I've already got that. I think he m or she might be dying. Yeah. Alright, cool. Zero damage Reptomancer. Fucking the boot. I will take a second core surge, too. What do we got? We got Apotheosis, which isn't bad. It's not crazy good, but it's not crazy bad. I can't upgrade. Probably nap here. Hmm. Thank you very much, Eater. Probably just lose the 10. I guess a lot of the good... Hmm. Secret map weapon might be worth grabbing. Even though it's not guaranteed to cause zero. That's a lot of rares. Wow. So that just like ate up all my... <sighs> so every time you see a rare, it like resets your chance of seeing rares. Which means like I'm not... I'm not going to see a rare for like the rest of this act until I beat the boss. I think I might still like Master of Strategy better than Secret Weapon. No. It's hard to say. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to take the secret weapon. <laughs> Do I just like take hand of greed and hope to get like 60 gold out of it or something? It's a two cost attack that does 20 damage. It's pretty good with Snake Eye. Yeah, these are all trash. It deals 21 damage. Oh baby, I love the I love the beta arts. Like, ah! Regular art's pretty good too. Do I? I gotta hope for a really good shop in Act Three. Act Four. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Lift. Yeah, no, we're napping. Like take the Frank. I have two core surges now. I think defrag is too slow. I'm gonna take the cool headed. Like I don't think it actually does enough. Bottle tornado. Do I want a bottle bias cog? It lets me hologram it later. Got twice as much chance of, uh... And I've got two core surges, so I... St <sighs> we got a shop. Um, don't want kunai, don't want... Oh, wow, this shop is, uh, dog butts. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is, a, this is a pretty bad shop. What card would I remove? Beam cell? Probably zap. Zap is, like, definitely... Pretty bottom tier. <laughs> I 
if I don't buy the metal coal kit and I somehow grab the unceasing top, I'm going to I'm going to have to hurt myself because yeah, since the heart puts you know a wound and a slime and a void and a burn in your deck. Did I see top already? I think you're right. Mmm. Alright. So then I don't actually care that much about medical kit? Save my money, hope for hope for ice cream and something miraculous. I'm gonna take these two potions. And then, yeah, it's like commons, commons, common. It's like recycle is a. Eh. Maybe? It would be a definite yes if I had ice cream, but. Okay, it's a nemesis. So this is either gonna go really, really well or really, really bad. Let's find out. Alright. Not a fantastic turn one. Thank you, Fossilized Helix. So, there are a couple things I can do here. Then I'm going to Core Surge. And then I'm going to Seek. Hologram. Hologram, Bias Cog. Play Bias Cog. Glacier. Sweeping Beam. Compile Driver. Meteor Strike. I might actually not blocking this by one. Is he actually gonna oh, get through my fossilized helix by one block? That really pisses me off. Yeah, well, I've got the boot, so... Shuck my nits. Alright, now, hopefully I can just kill him this turn. Yeah, thanks, Zytrophone. Boot's, uh, boot's doing something. If I Tempest, then what? Fuck, I've got no other way to rotate orbs? Hmm. So if I Tempest right now, I get... What is it? 8, 13, 13 times 5, 65, plus 24... You get like 89 damage, and then I take like 21. I also can't block like at all. This hand sucks. <sighs> hey, Meru. Mer Merumium? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. Alright, uh, time to dig for answers. Mm. It's like an answer. Boot value. I don't really want to take 15 either. I mean, I get him pretty close to dead. Problem is, I kind of need to recall at one of these bonfires. That's a lot of burns. Um, I think I can just kill you here. I think that's actually a thing I'm capable of doing right now. I know you don't believe me. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this is the third fucking storm I've seen. I want none of these cards. Oh my god.
Alright, well, I don't take any damage here. Um... Shit. There's a very high chance to kill him soon. These regen potions are so awkward. I am going for the heart. That is what that is what the title the Twitch title says. Should probably just save the potion. Ow my bones. Okay. Oh, I have no idea. I've never seen what anything looks like on mobile. Um, alright. I can seek for a Tempest here. Hold up. God damn, there's so much math I have to do in this run. Hold up, okay. So if I seek for Tempest, I go down to 13. Meteor Strike, go down to 12. Glacier, go to 14. It'll give me another 40 block. So that guarantees I'm full blocking this. The potential problem is if I hit him with Meteor Strike and then he uh, changes to put a Parasite in my deck. I'd have 14... 11 of them would rotate. 5, 11 times 13 is like way more damage than that, so I think I'd probably just win. How did I do this math wrong? Yeah, this Hand of Greed is never going to kill anything. Oh, he's actually hitting for way more than that. Good thing he dies. Shite. Uh, I don't think this strength potion is going to be very worthwhile. Another hologram? Uh, recall now? Yeah, yeah, that is the hard part. I've been desperately trying to find anything that will let me beat the heart and, uh, like the whole act. I specifically chose this path to give me, like, the best chances of being able to grab something that'll let me kill the heart, and, uh, didn't find it. This deck... This deck absolutely cannot kill the heart. It can dunk on one dude really hard. Like, three times, and then it's done. Because it's run out of Tempests. Grab me a Corsurge, so that I might do this. Um, I should probably figure out how to block this baloney. Hmm. Oh wait, never mind, I've got a bunch of focus, right? Hiya! Hmm. Oh, his secret weapon's a lot worse. Fuck. This should have been Master of Strategy, because secret weapon is going to grab me a 5 cost Meteor Strike. Whoops, didn't think of that. See, I'm not even searching for one card. I'm, ser I'm searching for, like, one of, like, six different things, and, like, any one of those, and I've got it. Like, Creative AI? That'll probably beat me, win, win me the run against the heart. Um, Ice Cream? Mm, ice cream actually probably won't do it by itself. Like, Echo Form. Echo Form like, just being able to double, like, Meteor Strike and then... Because, like, if I if I have Echo Form, I'll be able to just, like, beat him down with my fists at that point. 
you know, on top of all the Tempest damage. You know, Reinforced Body would not be terrible in this deck at all. Um, okay, so what am I doing now? Probably that. Okay, cool. Maybe. Oh, you're right. Shit, you're absolutely right, Shadow Killer. I should have drank that. Whoops. It's like two turns too late to get the full healing. Thank you very much, Akka. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I think I probably want to consume. I missed what turn we're on. Anything I want a hologram for? I mean, yeah. Like... Meteor Strike again? Let's dig a bit first. Um, there's a Double Energy and a Tempest in my hand and a Consume. That means I need to decide if I can just kill him this turn. And how best to do it. So Meteor Strike, I go down to 5, I gain 6, puts me at 11. Go down to 9, gain 9, go up to 18. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I Meteor Strike. Go down to 5, gain 6, go up to 11. Then I Dual Cast. Gain 4. Go up to 15. Then I Double Energy go up to 26. The back orb slot will be empty. I consume, go down to 24. Tempest, I'll have 8 focus. <sighs> 24, I'll have 2 orb slots. Those orbs will do 16 damage when they rotate. Uh, let's see here. 16 damage. I'll be at 24, so 22... I think I'm getting pretty close to a kill. Uh, hold up. 22 times 16. That's 352 damage. I absolutely have a kill. Rip healing potion. Okay, I just gotta ma make sure I remember the order here. Meteor strike. Dual cast. Like, unless I did my math wrong. Which is not impossible. Double energy. Consume. Tempest. Yeah, I killed him on the 18th one. <laughs> I was still channeling six more orbs. That is not that is not the relic I'm looking for. Uh um, I am in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. I think I have to take static discharge just for the heart. And, like, let him hit me for, like, 30 damage one turn, and then hit him back for a bajillion? Alright, I already recalled. I do... I could use some more block. Another Glacier it is. I mean, I've got focus now. I think I probably do the Bias Cog thing. That seems like a reasonable thing to do here. Oh, I gotta get my energy up first. So do this. How much health does he have? 27. Yeah, just grab the Core Surge Plus. Punch him. Play the Bias Cog. Yeah, you get angrier, but I get 5 focus for the whole fight, so... We're gonna just, like, let that slide. Cool. Probably should've played the, uh... 
charge battery. Hey, I might get some gold at a hand. Increased cost hand of greed. Ooh la la. Yeah, no, I don't think that's happening. Hologram for ball lightning? 17, 24, 38. I'm already full blocking. These holograms aren't upgraded. That's, hmm, that's kind of bad news. Maybe I don't hologram then. Just end turn. Okay, so he's not scaling anymore. Yikes. I am full blocking, and he's dead. Yeah, the secret weapon was a mistake. So, now the question becomes, how do I kill him? <laughs> I guess Meteor Strike, just over and over and over again, kinda does it. Yeah, probably save all my double energies and recycles and all that. One consume is probably fine. Just drawn through my whole deck again. As you do. Um, I'm gonna throw a beam cell on him. Thanks, boot. Yeah, I think I'm just going to save the Tempest. Jesus Christ. Oh boy, this is, uh... These are some good... Some good cards I'm seeing. Some good cards in my hand. <laughs> okay... 40 damage. I'm not that afraid. I'm not any afraid? I'm entirely unafraid. Got it? Got it. Easy peasy. Thank you very much, Live High. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking about it. I'm just trying to... Make sure I don't screw this up at any point. Because I can definitely kill him with just the Meteor Strike spam. <laughs> and honestly, Hand Agreed, hand agreed is, uh, is getting me there. You know, slowly but surely. I don't think that's actually worth very much, but... Oh, I should, uh, use Sweeping Beam? Or not Sweeping Beam, Beam Cell? I want to be careful... ...when I go to flip him. Hmm... I'm not yet full blocking. Okay. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the, uh, three cost double energy, but... I guess it's still useful here? Gets me one energy. I 
Do I want the compile driver here? I need to block? Yeah, I still need to block. I guess I can rotate this. Uh... I'm gonna take the compile driver. Okay. That does get me block. Okay. And I do also still have the fossilized helix just like absolutely ready to go. Should I need it? So one double energy left in the deck. I'm thinking if I can actually kill him this turn. Um, it's technically possible, I think, if I get the right combination of cards. I'd have to hologram for the zero cost compile drive. Well, here, let's do this first. Beam cell, interesting. Hmm, costs three energy. That doesn't work. Alright, uh, back to our regularly scheduled beatdown then. Seems reasonable. Just save everything here. <sighs> hold on to that for next turn, I guess, since I'm not gonna keep a plasma orb up. Well, that's a that's a big hit. That's a big boy move. What is that, like, 42 damage? Yeah, that's not... That's not enough. <laughs> Sorry. Well, maybe it is enough. Yeesh. Fuck, double energy's in my deck again. There's... Hmm. It's already full blocking. do eight of these how much is that it's like 16 times six yeah he should just die next turn so I'm going to do this oh it's actually more than that I think he dies this turn then <laughs> yeah Okay, that was Awakened One. I still have another fight to do. Alright, Time Eater. This is gonna be interesting. Hmm. I can't afford to do anything worthwhile here. Because this bias cog keeps costing three energy every time I see it. A little disappointing. I could, like, double glacier? Which gets me, what, 14, 25 block? Sure. Cool. I'm not going to get a relic out of this either. 
Um, yeah, consume seems pretty good. Okay, I gotta think about the cards and how I'm playing them. Hologram, Glacier, 7, Double Energy, 8, Hologram, 9, Tempest, 10. Mm, that might not be the play. But I, I, I've got the wiggle room of at least. Oh, I don't need to hologram actually. Hologram Meteor Strike, 10, 11. I've got like the tiniest little bit of wiggle room. Depending on what I draw. Mm. Okay, so let's think here. So if I Glacier, I'm already at 16 block. Yeah, so if I Glacier, I'm full blocking already. So Glacier, Hologram, Meteor Strike, Glacier, Double Energy, Tempest. Puts him at 11? So that means I also Bullseye? Let me make sure I've got this perfectly correct. Then I double energy. Is that nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I glacier. Oh no, I was supposed to glacier before double energy. I think I'm probably fine. Then I completely blast his butt. Just like an unmitigated mega dunk. Jesus Christ! Oh boy, I might be able to kill him. <laughs> might be able to kill him. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to dig himself out of this hole. Nah, he died. What was that turn? What was that? Was that turn three? I think that was turn three. All right. Might be able to handle the act for elite. That one, uh, that one can go so badly. It depends on your first two turns. Having Snekawai is pretty handy. <sighs> Thank you, Seven Again, or Se Seven Geddon. Thank you very much. Um, I don't... How good is lifting? It's really not great. Is it 3 HP bad, though? This Hand of Greed has... I mean, it'll... Uh, it might It might actually make the difference between life and death against the heart. Because the way our deck is built, I could come short. I could come, like, 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 49 damage short sort of thing, and being able to just, like, smack him for 20... Uh, a couple times earlier in the fight might actually make that difference. That being said, does a lifting make that big a difference? It's probably going to make at least 20 damage in the heart fight. And right now I'm, like, real desperate. I'm, I'm going to lift. Alright, it's all on this shop and the prizes from this elite fight. Fuck. Ooh. <laughs> Go play the cables is a... A relic? Yeah, hand drill's not gonna... Not a thing I'm gonna do. Man. Man. All I needed was, like, one really, like, choice winner shop, and I think this was in the bag. I think I wanted a Creative AI more than an Echo Form. Creative AI gives me, like, the guaranteed infinite scaling. And Creative AI can also give me an Echo Form. Like, as soon as Creative AI either gives me an Echo Form or a second Creative AI, I'm just, like, off to the races. So I think I just get Gold Plated Cables and Anchor. I literally just get anchored so that I can save my fossilized helix uh, against the 
elites. Like, I absolutely get gold-plated cables. I don't think that's a question. I cannot afford anchor and a potion. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if I don't get Echo Form or Creative AI off of Creative AI, a lot of the other powers are going to, like... They're not going to put me ahead of the heart, but they're going to buy me time to get the other cards. And it's not like my deck isn't doing strong things already. It's just that it's not doing... It's, it doesn't scale. It doesn't scale well enough. Well, that's not true. The problem, the problem is the 200 damage limit. If I could do more than 200 damage... Like, you saw, I killed... I, like, <laughs> I did almost all of uh, Time Eater's health in one turn. Uh, that must have been like 350 damage in like one turn. And it wasn't even... Yeah. But he's a big boy. I'm... If I do remove a card, what would it be? Thing is, uh, I can actually kind of get rid of... Artifact charges between Beam Cell and Bullseye. At least on the heart. So I'm not sure I want to actually remove Beam Cell. Because it might... The Vulnerable might actually matter. Which means I don't think I have a card remove. Which I... I guess that means I just buy Anchor. Rip. Rip Draw Pot. Alright, let's tango. You and me, bitches. You and me. Well, there's a core surge right off the top, so... I'm kinda digging that. So, yeah, already full blocking. Do I want to use the secret weapon on anything? I probably just want to get Beam Cell out of my deck right now. Don't think I want a Tempest for just one Lightning Orb. It seems not worthwhile. Okay. A Hologram. Hmm. If I Meteor Strike... This triggers at end of turn, on like loop. I need- I want enough to at least block him. Yeah, that's 61 damage turn two. This might be draw pot. And I already managed to do the core search thing last turn, so I can potentially use the ancient pot for the, uh, bias cog. In the heart fight. Okay, so Meteor Strike, Hologram Glacier. Puts me at five energy. What am I gonna do with five energy? And how much block does that give me? Okay, so. I'll have 14, I'll have 21 block, two frost orbs. Ball lightning, puts a frost orb up front, 21, 41, 54? It uses up my fossilized helix, but I don't take any damage. No, but more than that. I'll have 57. I'll be three blocks short. I don't think that's worth using the potion.
Oh, I'm also taking the burns. That's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, no. Never mind. Oh, shit. I think I did the math wrong. Whatever. It's double energy always costing three. That's a lot of damage. He's buffing. That's a lot of damage. Mm, not what I wanted to see. 26. 26 plus 14. That puts me at 40. So I only need 17 more block. Hmm. It's like I can hologram for Glacier again. Uh, that should do it. I've only drawn one meteor strike. Hmm, interesting. Then again, if I turn around, I'm also taking less damage. How much damage do I take if I turn around? Thirty-eight. So I'm already full blocking then. So I should save the hologram. Play static discharge. Or maybe I should play core surge, so he doesn't debuff my focus. That might be a better option. Okay, still kicking. <sighs> Can't control where the Tempest goes. Gives me four energy, though. So, let's think here. A Tempest for ten. I'm sitting at 8, so these do 16 damage each. Oh, fuck. He's got 83 shield on him, though. That's pretty much a no-go. Yeah. Hmm. Seeking for nothing? Sounds good to me. Now I can seek for anything. I've got 40 block. I'm taking 40 damage. Cool. So I think that means I just seek for a Meteor Strike for damage at this point. Damage and future energy? Where is Meteor Strike Plus? Hmm, then again, having the Frost Orbs for next turn would be pretty handy. I'm gonna get four- you know what, I'm gonna Tempest. Because I might be able to just kill him. Sick. Alright, cool. That should be the fight. Just like go nuts for donuts. I never I'm never gonna get to hand degree. Not that it matters at this point. Okay, cool. He might have 99 block. No, just 30. Oh, right. The bullseye doesn't do anything. Okay. That's a reasonable relic. That's not a great potion. Cool-headed. Lo looks like it's cool-headed. Boy, oh boy. I do have two strength. <laughs> uh... Get 24 damage at a barrage. That, that w wouldn't be so bad if it didn't have a random cost. Because, like, I already have Hand of Greed to do around that damage for also just a random-ass cost. And Hand of Greed doesn't get worse as I consume my orb slots. So... This is going to be fight. If you didn't... If you hadn't realized, uh... 
Oh, I guess the anchor does work here because of the beat of death. I didn't even think about beat of death. Alright, hold up. I need to think about how I'm going to do this. Because I definitely want to do this here. Yeah. Can I just, like, escape and then win the spire that way? I'm going to need one, two... I'm going to need at least five energy this turn. So if I use this one... I guess it doesn't matter because they're going to re-randomize. Well, it kind of matters in case I want a hologram. This puts me at six. And a secret weapon. Grab Core Surge. Core Surge. Bias Cog. So now I also won't be vulnerable. I still get the Frail and the Weak, but I won't be vulnerable. So... Okie dokie, well... Fuck. The lack of actual block cards also kind of makes, uh, Beat of Death not... Not the greatest thing... Fuck off. <laughs> hmm, either play no cards and take no damage. Hiya. Or I play some cards and probably take a lot of damage. I have a seek. I go down to three energy. Yeah, fuck, that's just not really workable. Be a death bullshit. Not playing consume here feels so bad. If I meteor strike, consume meteor strike, puts me at three energy. Cool headed, puts me at four energy. Then, like, Seek Glacier? How much block does that actually get me, though? Or wait, does, uh, does playing the Glacier get me two more energy? Uh, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Go down to one, go up to three. Yeah, because I'll still have one in front. Go down to two, go up to four. Seek Glacier. Go down, go back up to two. I'll have nine focus. Oh, data. I was like, why do I have this extra focus data disc? I'll have nine focus. I'll have rotated one frost orb. What is that? 5 plus 9. It's 14. So I'll get 14 block plus. What'll these be at? 9 plus 2. They'll be at 11. 14 plus 33. I can't do math right now. It's 47? Yeah. Which does block this. Um, I'm going to take some damage from the Beat of Death doing it, though. I think that's probably a lot better than not doing it, because doing it gets me a ton of focus, a ton of Frost Orbs, and I get to hit them. And those seem like important things for the deck to be doing. Okie dokie! Oh, that changes things. That changes things a wee little bit. I could probably still want to seek for Glacier here, just so I stop taking damage. There we go. Oh shit, I wanted to... whoops. Hold on, 27... 38, 49. 
So I can still... Hmm. Oh, right. Plus the extra 11. Okay, I was like, this is the turn where I need Static Discharge. Lo and behold. Um... Shit. I'm already full blocking this. Uh, rip. 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 Yeah, I, like, need to take some damage here. That's just, like, not enough. Man, I really needed a Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike probably could have done it. It's like, if I rotate six orbs... Four of them hit for 17. What's that? Four times 17. 40... 68... 68 plus 36, 98, 100 and a bit. It's like 70 damage. Mm. I'm about to become not weak. I'm gonna just... He's gonna take a little more damage from uh, hitting me. So I think we're gonna get... Oh, that also works. That was a turn. I mean, I've got, got him down to like 500. I used one of my Tempests to do it, though. So, Meteor Strikes. All on the bottom, I see. I mean, that's cool. You know. I've got 33 block right now. He is slowly beating the piss out of me. Let's uh, not kid ourselves around about that. Ugh. Oh, that's 60 damage. That's too much. Uh, okay. If I dual cast, it was that to the front. Puts me up to what? Thirteen. That's twenty-two. Thirty. Five? Yeah, 35. Not a great number. Again, 60. I take 25 damage. Take 29 damage. Okie dokie! Oh, that didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it might. Um, yikes. Oh, there's all my glaciers just in like one fucking hand. I think I gotta consume. Got him down to 290. It's like we're both just, like, pounding on each other. That's... Too much? F fuck? Uh, yeah. About that. 
about that 90 damage. And he's still got 90 health left, so there's like no way I can do some sort of mega shenanigan. Still got like some double energies, right? One double energy. Well, it seems I've come to the end of my rope. Looks like I'm getting dunked. Dunk or be dunked. Ha. <sighs> and he did like any of these glaciers. That might not have been enough. Sure got a lot of energy with not a lot to do with it. Zoinks. Hey, Iggy Dota. Yeah, there's no way to kill him. Or is there? Hold up. I don't think so. Because this resets- oh, Fuck, he has 203 health! I was- yeah. I, I didn't have the damage anyway, but I was like, wait a minute. His health resets before he starts taking damage from Static Discharge. That might be enough. Yeah. If only. Alright, well unfortunately, it is that time once again. So if you like what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 22 hours from right now. At that time, we will be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute, linked down below. And feel free to join the Community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're going to go raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thanks for joining me, and have a good day.